never disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Live from O'Dwyer Gardens. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Outside. Ain't gonna stop you, Earl. Ladies love Nems cause he's gorgeous, you heard? <laughs> Welcome to Outside with Gorilla Nems, episode 25. I don't know if this is season three, cause we in the middle of, of our deal right now. Our deal is already in place, but they want us to wait. But we said fuck the wait. We continuing filming. We continuing dropping episodes. We not losing steam like we did last time. Thanks. And what better way to rainy day in Coney Island, it's like 60 degrees, to have the Brooklyn motherfucking legend, uh -huh. DJ Pioneer, ill Brooklynite, ill Puerto Rican, ill rapper. Wow. You heard? Make some noise for my man Tony Tony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. go, Get it. Let's go. Thank you, man. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Always wearing FYL. Love that. You know what I'm saying? People tag me all the time. Yo, Tony's wearing your shit, yo. All day. It's fire. Then we got to the left of him, my man Apple Paz. That's crazy. See, we film, we, we already ahead of our time. By the time you seeing this, like with the episode with Girl Code just came out today. But we already like three episodes in the future, because we already ahead of our competition. No, I'm ah, but right. that was insane that Shorty said, What's your name? He said Paz. And he said, she said, like Apple Paz? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, like Pasquals. Like Apple Pies. Right. She crazy. was dead ass. Like Apple Pies. Like on some southern shit? Yeah, like Apple Pies. Pies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? And to the right of my man Apple Pies, we got crotch old man Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Since the dawn, you heard? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not man, they ain't getting no pies from him or nothing, bro. Oh, fuck your life. Oh, I forgot I had these shits on. Nah, yeah, we not doing man. these. Wow. We only do an FYL shades. Yo, here, facts. take these shits, man. Man, I ain't even wear my shit. Get out of here, man. Take these shits. Yo, throw them shits in the garbage. Yeah, facts. We only this do an FYL crap. shades, you heard? Yo, the Def Tape, the official soundtrack mixtape of the movie, is out now? It's out. It's out right now. Actually, that's how we got Tony on the shit, because I heard the Dave East, Mary J joint. It's on here? Yeah. Yup, all I need. Tony Touch, Davies. Oh, and Tiana Taylor. It's not even Mary. That's right. That's even better. And I called him. I said, yo, bro, I heard a new song with Davies. <laughs> I heard a new song with Benny and Conway. I know you're not putting out a fucking album without me on it. He was like, bro, I did this shit like fucking, you know He said, yes, I am. Hey, yeah. That, that's what he did. <laughs> and he said, yo, I want to be on the podcast Stone to promote man. it. Yeah. Stone man. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> but yeah, this shit is out now. Let's talk about that. What's up with the mixtape, the movie? I've seen it. Yeah. They screened that shit mad long ago. Yeah, we screened it like a year ago. I mean, I've been sitting on, I told you I was sitting on the music for a minute. I've been turned that album in, you know what I mean? And, um, and the film also, it was just kind of in limbo for a minute. But uh, it finally seemed the light of day. But yeah, last year we had the premiere. Uh, the, Tri uh, the Tribeca Film Festival. It was at the Festival. Beacon Theater though. Yeah, yeah. And Robert, Robert De Niro yeah, was there. That's right, Robert De Niro. Oh, yeah, that was fire. Co-signed the film. It was a mad rainy it. night. I remember that. Yes, yeah, pouring. It was crazy, that. but That's the right. film was fire. So what's going on with it now? Where can people see it? They can see it on Paramount Plus. You know what I mean? And uh, basically, just a quick summary. It's a story of the mixtape culture and the DJ or the people that that use that medium to like get their music out there. You know what I mean? And yeah. um. So, but it's mostly centered around like a lot of the mixtape DJs, like, you know, Clue and Go Back Drama and, you know. Who was the uh, first Kid one? Capri. Kid Capri? Or Rob? Uh, well, well, we, you know, it's, it, it's oh. debatable who was first, but many credit like Hollywood, who used to record on like eight tracks. Yep. You know what I mean? That's and crazy. then, um, and then of course, uh, Brucey e. B was like the one that really selling it, making money, making copies, yeah, like yeah, hustling yeah. it. Yeah. He, he started the hustle and then Kid Capri took it to the next place and then boom later on you know ron g sns myself do what was your first mixtape it was back in 91. what was uh, it called yeah that was my first one i hip-hop number one <laughs> uh, you know what i mean and what I, artists did you have on there oh man in 91 you know like stuff like x clan and <laughs> fucking like were you, you rapping know. on it did you have any songs i wasn't doing intros or none of that yet i was that came years later but um 
you know, basically I got the whole collection on my website and I, it's easy to follow because I just numbered them. Hip hop one, hip hop two, hip hop three. Right. I right. actually just finished hip hop 128. Bro. Mm. Oh, yeah. shit. You get the whole collection on one USB, oh, you yep. get everything. Yeah. Flash drive. Right. That's fine. That's when did 50 MCs Part 1 come out? 50 MCs Part 1 came out in 96. And what was your motivation for that? That was a little bit of a, well, it was hip hop, it was number 50. Okay. It was my 50th tape. Um, so I wanted to make that special. And then doo -wop had just dropped 95 Live. But he had like maybe 15, maybe 20 MCs on, on his This project. is like the heyday of mixtapes when MCs are dropping freestyles on mixtapes. Yeah, yeah. That, he was was the, like, that was the internet back then. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, that's, a fact. that's how you got your shit out, see if you was nice. Facts. Yeah. doo -wop was like first doing all the freestyles and then I just kind of bounced off of that, made the whole tape. Like, you know, the whole thing was just all freestyle. Because that would be like... Downtown Brooklyn that had all the tapes like that where you go like... All of them stores had that shit. B Street, yeah. Music Factory. Facts. I used to go there. That's where I was buying all my... They had a Music Factory on King's Highway. That I used to buy. That's where I first started buying. I bought my first tapes. I bought was the single, Scenario, and Das Effects. They want effects. That's like when I was like 10 years old. That's that's what I grew up. And everything after that... Yeah. Was before was my era when I, when I started like really getting into my own shit. Yeah. Um, but the 50 MCs would be like your the most notable shit. That's the one that like put me on the map like globally. Nice. Like it's just it made a you lot did a of bunch noise. of those too, right? Like I did three. Yeah, I three, did three yeah, different ones. I was mad at the third one, man, because I wasn't on there. Man. Shit. Wow. Man. Well, fourth one, Dito, put yeah. him on. There. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, got hands on, I, got hands I don't need yeah. to be on that because we got some official shit coming. Yeah, we cooking up something. We yep. cooking up something. I, yeah, I've been plotting with Tony for maybe a few years already to do this yeah, specific yeah. thing that I don't want to talk about because I don't want nobody else stealing the idea. Right, right, right. But yeah, yo, we're going to do some it. Some next level. Sh Don't worry, I'm not gonna say it, bro. New <laughs> York shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you look right. like you want to. Say it. <laughs> like it was I didn't want to say it. Yeah, it was fire. But I'm not gonna say it. And, and he just sent me the first like beat to like really like solidify this. It's, nah, nah, don't give me it's a just hit. fire. That's all you need to know. And I'm, I'm trying excited to get it out about of you. It, you know what yeah, I'm that's saying? Right. And and yo, for some reason, I I look at I don't know if it's because he's Puerto Rican or because I grew up listening to Tony. I look at like. Like an uncle when he comes around, he be in Coney oh, yeah. Island. He's one of the only DJ or just music people that come to Coney Island on the regular. Yeah. He throws Bobo, parties right? in Coney Island like right. on the regular. Yeah. On the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them, them you gotta premise. clap it up for that. Yeah, yeah. Clap it up everybody's scared of Coney no, Island except Tony. I got a story. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, Tony. He don't probably remember. I was drunk. We used to drink. He did a boardwalk party, and he went to Red Doors after, and I was we was in there all of us. I mean, this thing was. Getting twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. In fact, we got twisted up on the ball on in, in yeah. red doors, and I was recording. My wife called. I got the video, and I said, "You say, yo, somebody's calling." I said, my wife, she just want to argue, and I hung up. I was on <laughs> video before my heart shit. She was already fighting. Damn. You was in the doghouse. Yeah, that yeah. day too. Damn it. Hey, you had, you had said that um with the 50 MC <laughs> shit. That was like your first one that went and got global recognition. Yeah. How the hell did that get global recognition? Like, how do you take it from this yeah. region? Well, it, it, it was like prime time for like mixtapes this year. It was like 96. Yeah, yeah you know? facts. That was like the prime. And, um, you know, there were so many record stores in New York selling these shits, right? Like mom and pop stores. Yep. Facts. Everybody was, yo, everybody's Canal Street. Besides the DJs in your hood that was making mixtapes and trying to like, yo. Yeah. I used to be like, nah, I'm going to yeah. get what I want to hear. That's like. it. Yeah. So, so it was it? a hot time. And uh, just to, one, no, just, um. You know, a lot of people from all over the world, they come here to shop. So yeah. clothes, music, sneakers, whatever. Yeah. And they take it back with them. And that's how them shit circulated. You yeah, know? That's, that's one of the best parts about doing this podcast is because I've been around Tony Mad Long. You know what I'm saying? And there's other artists that I get on here that when we chilling, I just don't really ask. But these are all things that I fucking wondered about. I'm going to keep it real. Mm. The first Peacemaker album is all, not all, in my opinion... Mm. It's not arguable, but other people may. I feel like it's the best compilation in hip hop history. Wow! And I'm gonna right. stand on that. Let's clap it up for that. Oh, whoa! Because yeah. first of all, I got one of the best Wu Tang songs yeah. of Wu Tang, in my opinion. The abduction yeah. is a Wu Tang song that's like it's one of the Wu Tang songs to me that never gets old. I love that song. Wow! You know what I'm saying? And but the way you put it together, like let's say if there was a if there was a soundtrack 
or somebody else put together a compilation album, yeah, it's like people give them throwaway songs. You know right. what I'm saying? When it like came to your shit, album, right? you yeah. had like like liquid rhyming. You had Tash, the Far Ride. You had the the ones that were spitters. Exhibit. You know what I'm Exhibit. You had like so the liquid. There wasn't really a, like I was a fan of the Liquid Crew, which was the Alcoholics, Exhibit, the Far and a couple others. Yeah. But you never heard like the real main spitters, like like Tash, Exhibit, like on one track. Mm -hmm. You would put them together. Then you had the Foundation with Pun, yeah. and 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 Sun Kids and that crew, which you never really heard that. You would take like the real spitters and put them together. Like from a listener's perspective, it was like, yo, if I was making something, this is how I would want it. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did it, with, with that, the Peacemaker album, how much control did you have in that? Did you choose the beats? Did yeah, you... everything, top to bottom, yeah. You know? Really? And yeah. said, yo, this is who I want in it? Absolutely. And a lot of DJs chimed in on the project too, like DJ Scratch gave me a beat. Yup. You know, um. I'm waiting for my beat, Scratch. We spoke Scratch about this. Scratch gave Let's me go, a beat. Man. Ma DJ Macy. Shout out Scratch. Yeah. Macy. Macy yeah. produced the day, uh, the, the day Light, Most Def record. Um, but yeah, you know, I, basically, uh, I was seasoned after doing all them 50 MCs. Facts. Mixtapes, so I already knew what direction to go in with the album. And, you know, we had the Eminem record. I, I paired him the up with Prodigy. Al yeah. With Alchemist. That was insane because Eminem, at the certain, he rhymes on certain beats. You always want to hear him on the Alchemist on the beat album. and yeah. never do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you know what I'm saying? we did that. And, um, you know, I already, like, knew in my head, like, where I was gonna go with that's it. That's fine. The Basics by that. Prodigy. Prodigy. Yeah, that's, that's a class, that's like a mob deep cut, like, that's but right. without, like, without have, like, Prodigy yeah. at that time was like, yo, up until Murder Music, like, Infamous, Hell on, this, and I, and I argue this, there's no three albums in a row from anybody in hip hop mm. that are better, that they have to have three albums in a row than Infamous, Hell on Earth, and Murder Music. Mm. Yes. Right? I, so, I concur. And at that time, Prodigy really was, the king of New York, kind of. Like, nobody was fucking with his bars. After yeah. Hov did that to him, it kind of like, in my, you know, the, in the public's opinion, yeah. went down. But those three, when Murder Music came out, he was at the height, because his album came out. Yeah. So you had them at the fucking height of it. How the fuck you get an Eminem? Well, Eminem wasn't who he is now. He was still yeah. coming up in the game. Yeah. But, yeah, you got everybody on that. I had a good relationship with that clique, like, before the whole thing took off. You know, Paul and them. They was really out there hustling, pushing that early, you know, Facts. early early Eminem records. So I was I was already on board with them from 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 the grip. What right. about the Wu Tang one, the uh, abduction? Yeah, shout out True Master produced that. Yeah, cause what's his name? I seen. Yeah. Who True did Master I see? Did um, Mathematics. I yeah, seen him yeah. at a Wu Tang event, and I was like, Yo, you produced the abduction. Dog, I was I loved that beat. He was like, Bro, I didn't produce that. <laughs> I was like, Who produced it? He was like, I think Tony Touch produced it. I was like, yeah. No, when I hit. Tony, I was like, yo, you produce it? He was like, nah, that was yeah. True Master. True Master, yeah. So shout out to True Master. That beat is fucking amazing. Yeah, I produced like half that album, but I, I definitely got a lot of help on the outside. You know? Nah, that, the Alchemist beats, the... Yeah, that was a great record. What was your relationship like with Pun? Uh, Did you ever chill it, with him? A few times, you know. Went to, up to his crib in the Bronx. There was always like a lot of things going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um. It's funny because he used to do a lot of, you know, pranks on people yeah, yeah, yeah. all day, pranking people. And the day we went up there, we actually walked up there, shout out Ron Mills. We went and Aguilar, Aguilar did the beat. We went up to his crib to get the vocals from him. He wasn't really moving around like that. This is like 2000, 99, 2000. So we went up to him to get the vocals and um, they staged, like, he staged this whole, like, fake shootout in his crib, bro. Yo. <laughs> fucking was running out. Staging a shootout is crazy. Yeah, like, he really, was shooting blanks, but it was like, it looked like it really no, went that's down. That's insane. That's that's insane. Not, you ever shot a blank? That shit is like, that shit sound like real. Yeah, yeah. Right. so he's like, you know, his boy, I'm sitting next to him. And you at your crib. You don't want to bring that heat to your crib. Yeah. What the fuck? Max. So I'm sitting next to him, and his boy walks in the house. He's like, yo, so-and-so's right there, man. That nigga owed me, you know, this money. What's, you know? He's just here chilling. Pun is like, go ahead, step to him, you know? So he went over there. He's like, yo, what's up? What happened? Man? You got your chain on? Like, and they started, like, getting into it. Next thing you know, dude pulled out the jam. He, bang, bang. <laughs> he's running out the fuck. You running, running out the what, you what you did? What you did? What you did? Keep it real. I just got up. I was just like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I walked behind Liza, it's Pun's wife. 
And she's going to yeah. use it like a shield? Yeah. Sure, Go she, bang. she was there not shield in front of me, but she was like laughing. She was laughing. She's like this, cracking oh. up. Like, what the fuck is she you? laughing about? Yeah. That's when I started catching on, but yeah, she was she was my protector that day. Yeah. <laughs> come on, crazy. T, come over here. But she Yo, was laughing and Uncle yeah. Dan, shouts to Uncle Dan, Fat Joe, with, with Fat Joe's can. Hmm. He told me he when I talk to him, I like to just pick his brain because he's been around for everything. Yeah. So I'm like, mm. He's like, yo, pun, had me come to his house one day and front it like he just bodied somebody. And he said, yo, Uncle Dan, I just killed somebody. Yo, you got to help me pack up the body. So Uncle Dan tells me, he goes, all right, get the sheets, get this, get that. Oh. Yeah, good thing I didn't bitch up because it was a prank. He was just testing me to see if that happened, what I would do. Damn. He said, I didn't bitch up and I fucking, he, and they told me, yo, it's a prank. He Yo, said, but Pun was always, that's what everybody says. Pun was always pranking people. If you Super. prank, if you just jokingly call the body, who you calling to help you wrap up? Me or Paz? Paz can't do nothing. He can't, <laughs> he can't move the body. <laughs> he's, he's too weak after the heart attacks. Damn. Damn. You gotta wrap it up. I know if I got beef, I'm definitely not calling Tony, bro. Nah, he's, he's gonna need like a shield. Behind women. <laughs> <laughs> behind women. Yeah. <laughs> no women and children holding his wife. <laughs> now, when did you really start, like, you always been rapping? Um, I would like play around with it on Fuck the mixtapes. Yeah. Do my little intro. But you always rhymed the Spanglish. Spanglish. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, uh, you know, I felt, you know, that's just how we spoke around the way that's, anyway. So it was just. That's like, when Bushwick was not East Williamsburg. Right? Yeah, I was Bushwick. That's when it was Bushwick. Bushwick. Yeah. But um, you know, it was always a thing where, I'd, you know, I play with it, you know, a little bit here and there. And more people were like, yo. And then the Coco then, Brothers put me on that Spanish Harlem record. That shit was amazing. So I was like, all right. So I started pinning more, and you know. And then do out the Diaz brothers. Yeah. It was incredible that these two DJs were nicer than fucking <laughs> half of the rap game, bro. Uh, Every time wow. I heard them, I was like, yo, this is incredible that these guys are nicer than the majority of the rappers that are out, bro, and they're fucking That's DJs. Wild. Shout out Duop, man. You know what I'm he's, saying? Yeah, he's 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 a mean one with it. Facts. Yeah, do Was he rhyming nice. before you? On the mixtape? Yeah, thing? he was actually. How did that happen? Y'all just fucking link up and say, yo, let's make a fucking Yeah, because it was like a little like tension after I dropped the 50 MCs. Really? He did like a he did like this freestyle, like kinda like throwing jabs at and me. You wasn't cool with him at that time? Uh we didn't really know each other, no. Okay. This is like Where's 96. He from? The Bronx, right? The Bronx, right? yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But we had a mutual friend, God bless Ray Roll from the Bronx. That was like my roadie and he him and WAP were cool. So he just brought us together because then we started doing little rhymes at each other on the fucking mixtape. <laughs> yeah, but like not saying names. We was just like, yeah, yeah. That ever was direct, mass subliminal. Indirect. That whole ever was mass subliminal. We just shots, darts, right. And then uh, we just came together and we just, you know, let's do something, man. He, he thought of the Diaz brothers. That was his idea. Really? Yeah, he came up. So what was that first yeah. time after y'all was throwing shots and y'all talked? We like, met at D&D Studios, man. We were randomly? Over there. Yeah. Uh, no, Ray Rose set it up. He okay. set up like a meeting, you know? And uh, we met, and um, he actually, if I'm not mistaken, he recorded on the 50 MCs, the second one. Fine. That's when I was recording the 50 MCs, the second one. And he came to the studio, and I was like, yo, wanna, and he dropped bars like that same day. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, yeah, and then we started, you know, building the Diaz Brothers uh, brand. That's my last name. I always liked them albums. The Diaz. Facts. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and what about, you got any Prodigy stories? Like, how you linked up with Prodigy? Prodigy? Man, he's always he's always been down to work on every album I did. He's a workhorse, bro. He yeah. always that's why he got as much music as like pop. Bro, yeah. he got yeah, that's he, he always they always had mad shit. Catalogs, yeah. But he would always come through. I can't remember where I first met him, man. I got to give that some thought. But um, he was on the Peacemaker. He was on the Fifty MCs. He was on the third one I did. I don't know. I, you know, I used to be up. You know, I used to run up on people and just yeah, yeah, introduce yeah. myself and be like, "Yo, I'm working on this thing," and it's you know. They'd be like, "Hell yeah!" Yeah, like yeah. the 50 MC. Yeah. Once I did the first one, second one, that was. Already, then you got people coming to you. The clout was up, so yeah, I yeah, fact. Probably stepped to him like, "Yo, I'm doing this tape. What's up?" He came by and killed it. Back then, that was like a, the DJ artist relationship was like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Because the was, culture was still like yeah, that. Yeah, it was a lot. And of, you um, as an artist. There wasn't no YouTube. There wasn't no Apple Music. Like DJ wasn't. You had to wasn't the, DJ. You, the DJs put everything in the stores. Yeah. They did the hustle. They did yeah, the legwork for the artists where they was like, yo, we're fucking, I'm going to go store to store, make sure my mixtape is in the stores. Yeah. So yeah. All you, as a rapper, all you really had to do is link with these, give them a verse, a fire. You had to make sure that's your best shit. Yeah. They put it on the shit and all the legwork is done. But one thing about 
Tony, that, and, and, and you even do it with your Shade 45 show, is you don't cater to the underground or the mainstream. You mm. just play what's fucking dope. Yeah. And I respect the fuck out of that because <laughs> on your shows, you might have a fucking, like a fucking West Side Gun song and the next song is fucking Quavo, you know what I'm yeah. saying? If the shit is dope. It's hot, it's hot, it's yeah. That's yeah, the radio yeah. show for sure, you know? And um, it's all about like pushing the culture forward, promoting new shit, right? You can't stay stuck on the old school shit, shit yeah. all day, you know? You can't even stay stuck in one sound, right? Because a lot of people like to turn up and hear some of that. It evolves, yeah, it that, evolves. You know, you want to hear that down south. You want to hear that, that Sasude. So you got to like switch <laughs> it up, man, you know? We was in the video for that. <laughs> the sacude. Yeah, I said Ooh, that fucked up. My yeah, facts. That's, that's my New York Puerto Rican shit. I don't speak Spanish, <laughs> Fuck it. Sacude, life. yeah, thank you for that, man. He looked mad confused, like, yo, what? what? He was like, charcuterie, oh, charcuterie, what the fuck is that? He tried to say sacude. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second. Yeah, facts. <laughs> yo, so how did you get the radio show on Shade 45? That and again, you? just the relationship with Paul and Eminem, you know. I got I got down with them like within the first year they started. They're getting ready to celebrate 20 years. That's Damn. Right. You've been with them 20 years? I've been with them 19. I almost no, that's I've pension. been up for Shade 45. Almost that's almost, right. Almost Yo, pension, nice. right? Clap, shout out to Shade 45, man. They Besides now, like now my shit is on regular rotation yeah. on Shade 45, but even before I was dealing with Paul, Shouts to Ron Mills. Yeah. Like Ron Mills got his ear to the street. That's my guy, Ron. And Ron Mills, Mills right, makes Ron. sure the right artists are being played on there, man. And Shade 45 has been my real like life radio home yeah. since before, way before I had a deal. Since like a right. long time, man. They've been playing the dope shit, man. My my in my right. car, all the only station I listen to is Shade 45 because yeah. They play what I like to hear, and, they, and I know most of the people with the radio shows, so yeah. I love hearing that. Shouts to Destroy, too, because Destroy got one of the best shows yeah, on Shade 45. Now, I say it all the time. Oh, that was wow. your rap partner? He was like my, he used to do my intros on the mixtapes. <laughs> he was from Bushwick, so we linked up back in like 92. Was he always crazy like that? Always. Always, always, always like that? Yeah, out, no, shout man. out to Destroy. Shout now, out to I wanted Destroy. to say <laughs> he was here on the episode. Yeah. Yeah, he does a lot for hip hop and you Latin. You did say that. I didn't say that. I said on the Patreon. Oh, album, yeah. And he does a lot for Latinos in hip hop. And I respect yeah. that. Shout out Destroy. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Destroy. And so does Tony. Yeah. Bodipa. Yeah, Tony too. Yeah, he do, he do. 100%. Yeah. I fuck yeah. with Tony. Love you for that. You mentioned a bunch of ill producers and rappers that you work with. Who would you say is like the most musically inclined person in the And then just like from the music to the raps, and they just really tuned in with the music. Most musically inclined? Wow. Um, I mean, I could, I, I'd have to start off by saying KRS is like my favorite person to like work with and just the energy I get from him and just just his whole his whole vibe, you know, KRS one. And I'm gonna say it again, yeah. if you're if you're a music artist, <laughs> especially hip hop, yeah. it should be criteria for you to see KRS perform once in your life to see what a real motherfucking hip hop show is supposed to look like. That's right. Because from the second he comes on stage, he's freestyling, he's doing all, like he controls the crowd at the next level. Like every artist should aspire to have a show like KRS One. Yeah. If you haven't been to one, make sure you go there and make sure you see that. Being that we on the beach, you ever took a shit in the water? Uh, nah, but I just made my ah, You took mad luck. Oh, you're 54, bro. Nah, I never shit in the water. <laughs> pissed a zillion times. Yeah, you yeah, ever yeah, pissed yeah. in a project elevator? Never. No. What? Staircase? Yeah, because yeah, Bushwick is not really like projects. They don't got projects? They got projects. Yeah, yeah, project. yeah, yeah. They got, got like project. little house projects. Sure, project. yeah. You never pissed in a staircase? Nah. What? I just pissed twice in that staircase. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> one sitting down. And busy ones. <laughs> busy did it once. <laughs> I took yeah, a shit in that water in Coney Island. Took yeah. a shit in the pool in Puerto Rico. In the pool. In the pool. Floated to the top <laughs> and everything. <laughs> he was a kid though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as a grown man, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the beach. Shitting, Shitting in the beach. Be like this. Yo, go over, go over there. Go over there. Presented by Monster <laughs> Energy. Pull the shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, now we going into the drip check. Presented by New Era and Bearded Goose. You heard? Make sure you fuck with one of these hats because they're official. You heard? Facts. Tony, what you wearing, man? 
You know, Uptown's my usual go-to's. Can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? I got my official body hoodie. Body. You know, Shout out to the body brand and, um, you know, FYL all day, Papa. He got better hair than you, Pa. Yeah, yeah, I got hair. Yo. Wow. He got way better hair than you. What hair, bro? I got the bearded like goose. Man, so Snap back. Snap back go. is crazy. Fit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's real pelo. Blue jeans. I got the um, <laughs> extra large New York hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my guys. Villainous, he brought that through. And uh, Jordan 1s. Nice. Six. FYO. Nike windbreaker, Jordan 1s. That's it. That's, That's it, a bro. suit? That's like a track suit? Nah, nah. Oh. It's not a one piece. I'm looking like Coach <laughs> Nims today. Yeah. I got the FYL on top, custom 101, windbreaker, lifers. I got the Nike sweatpants and I got the crawfish nines to make the cipher complete. You gotta show them the dog. They're gonna bro. see us. We do it. We do it after we, they we put the whole shit. In there. Right. While we're talking, they show. <laughs> yeah, Goose, get in. Show them your fit. Let me stop, let me stop in this yeah, yeah. Into the camera side real quick. This Shout out, that's bearded Goose right uh, here. Man. Shout out to my brother Patrick, Shout out to the Rushmore, whole fucking team. This, this garment right here, this is this is a three-year-old garment, bro. Nigga. I don't know about this shit. It's a beautiful one-on-one fit. It's like duck boots. If you're from New York, it's either Tim's or duck boots. Ha. Yeah, yeah. Are those short-ass yeah. jeans you're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> jeans? Are those bugle boy jeans? Bugle <laughs> boys. Jeans is crazy. <laughs> so niggas don't fuck with them duck shits, though. You suck. Yo, you stop fashion over? Fashion over, bro. Fashion over? He's a baddie. Yo, Busy, what you wearing, man? Bit. Wearing some bullshit on your feet. Hi, right, bro. You like a hipster bum. Black. Yeah. Just say black. Nah, he beat me in the race in them shits. Them bullshit. Yeah. Facts. Damn, bitch. Yo, yo, beating pass in the race is not a that big deal. Like. Why nobody raced me before? Now niggas yeah. want to race me. Ah. All right. Yeah. You gotta relax, bro. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you gotta defend his honor, bro. Facts. What's your favorite mixtape, period? Favorite mixtape. I'm sure you went through this on that on the, mo the movie. Um, man, the 50 MCs, bro. There shit, I go. did. <laughs> right, let me ask you another My question. My shit. What's your favorite mixtape that you didn't do? That when you heard it, you were just like, okay, 95 Live, do what? Yeah. yeah. Who All shocked right. you the most? Who was like, it, it could be good or bad. That like when you when you got around him, he was like, wow, or he was like, damn, this guy's a jerk. Cannabis. In a bad way? No, like when I, I you know, when he got on this record, the, the verse that he did for um, the 50 MC. Is that what you're talking about? Like what yeah, artist? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, cannabis. That's yeah, he's the one that was like, shit. Shout out cannabis you know too. That's my guy. He was on the show. He was like on the come up when I recorded with him. Um, he was getting ready to record in the other studio. It's all D and D too. He yeah. was uh, in the other room with Lost Boys and um, Red Man. Oh, that's when he was first coming out with the Beast to the East. Yeah, song came out so and all I was that. there. So like I knew of him, but I didn't know. And then he got on and bodied it. One take. Pretty much, yeah. Right. Fire. Well, back then it there was wasn't no easy. cutting in. It was yeah. mostly one take. We had, we had to one punch take. you. We had two inch. We were recording everything on two inch reels. So it's crazy. Yeah, there was. It was. It was. You know, the punching was was tight, was but we got it done. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Okay. The Peacemakers, what's your favorite, the album, is it the Peacemaker? The Peacemaker album, uh, by far, one of my greatest pieces of work. It is. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great record. Finish. All the artists on there have stood the test of time. Absolutely. Too, from Busta Rhymes and Flip Mode to Wu-Tang to M and, 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 and. Uh, Legendary. Oh, what happened to Lord Have Mercy? He was always mad nice. Yeah. From Flip Mode. Uh, Paul Noah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Probably I don't know what's up with him, shit. man. Right? I always thought he was like one of the nice. Yeah. Yo, when I when I was young, oh, I, I used to, I used to have every word. CD that ever like every every week that came out, I would buy. I used to just write in like a composition notebook, like like artists that I like. I had a dream list. I wish I found that somewhere because a lot of them I have worked with, but yeah. it was like, bro, like three pages long that's fire. of people that I always wanted to do a song with. Some of them I have, and that's why, also like people that's. Like not popping, unless they don't have a hit record or something. Now they'll hit me. Like let's say, like Onyx hit me to get on their shit. Mm. That's fine. Shut them down is one of my favorite albums. Yeah, I yeah, love that, that was album. crazy, right? Yeah. When they hit me, they're like, no, they don't have songs on the radio. But to me, that's fucking Onyx. Yeah, and I know 100%. for a fact 
that Sticky Fingers is like one of my influences, made yeah. me rhyme the way I do. And grimy, like wow. that. Yeah, so when they ask that. me, I yo, I kind that. that's, that's Yeah, I'm on a- Yeah, that's I fire. Forgot, I think it's called uh, Robbery or something like that. It's on Onyx shit. Um, but yo, I, the whole verse is like saying either song titles or shit that they said in songs, but I, I used it like in a way that I'm robbing somebody. It's, it's a dope verse. But like I was super hyped to get like that. Cause I feel like in hip hop, man, you gotta pay homage to the legends and the people that came before you because Thanks. this shit moves like so quick and yeah. and people don't pay homage. Like hip hop now is starting because it's getting older to to be able to be like the Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone still could go on fucking tour today. Yeah. Wasn't there like a concert? But now it's like Wasn't now it's starting to happen. Like with Wu Tang, Nas. Yeah. Even 50's they going on Rolling Stone. Didn't they 50, have they did a they world did, tour. Yeah, yeah. 50 facts. did a world tour. Yeah, facts. So facts. now we're getting hip hop is getting to that level where the pot like the, the you don't have to be a fucking hit. You don't have to be on the radio. Exactly. Yeah, you get the new the new one. kids, low kid ain't even really selling out arenas like that, most of them. And then the old yeah. the like, you know, the old heads is moving. Yeah. Like, selling shit yeah. out. Yeah, because we're growing up with it. Yeah, yeah. facts. Because before it wasn't like it was like, I remember when Cam and Jay-Z were battling, and Cam was talking about Jay-Z, you 30, you old. And that was yeah, like a word. thing, like, yo, once you 30, you, you yeah, washed, you shouldn't be rapping no more. You know what I'm saying? And, and now it's like, I just got my deal, bro, at 40. Yeah. Yo, you know got to look at it like uh, music, art, all of that is timeless. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you crack that space and time, and you have that, if you got a good verse, that verse will be good. 20 years from now. Like, if you listen to Life After Death, if you listen to a pun album, all these out, like, bro, that verse Listen to The Peacemaker. All of that yeah, shit yeah, stands the All of those, bro. those, uh, those true, songs... Music's an art form. They literally capture the space and time. It's like a capsule. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's where the craft was at that point. As an artist, like, for yourself and anybody who's, who's in the game, you have to pay homage to the past, uphold the craft, and then inspire the future. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, what, clap that's it up for that. That was a good point right there. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that. For the future. Yo, that copy cool shit that I played. Yeah. That's a banger. Big I can say yeah. That's Peacemaker yeah. 2. That's Peacemaker 2. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, because even now, I've been trying to get a beat from Juju. I've been trying to get a beat from Juju for huh. years. And he just be like, man, when I get to it, I'll get to it. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Right but time, at the right time. Yo, he, bro, Juju on the low got Beware. By Big Pun, yep. he got one by Ghostface. That's right. Not 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 even including the fucking the beat nut shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Legend watch out Harry. now. Yep. Fucking nobody ready to dip. Yo, he's one of the illest, in my opinion, one of the illest beat makers. That you know, he he's not super consistent, so I don't feel like he gets his just due. But and being Latino. Yeah. I'm saying he's Yo, one of the illest. Look at it like this. You said like he's not super consistent, but all you need is one. Like if he just had that beat nut record, the beat nut record, he would yeah. be out of here too. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he killed yeah. that shit. Yo, I'm gonna do this because I just love this album. I wanna go through this shit. Like start out. Bro, this this right here. You yeah. set off the album with a primo beat, a gangstar song, rest yeah. in peace, guru. There's mad people on this fucking album that are not here no more, that are legends in the game. Wow, that's that just these, and these are not just like throwaway songs. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. are like fucking bangers, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's my theme song right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so this is your, this was your son? Uh, yeah? I said it's my daughter. It's your daughter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was 2000, so she was about uh, uh, four years old. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's fire. Four-year-old Joss. <laughs> and then you then you go right into flip mode. That's my son. Yeah, yeah. The, the end, the Tony Touch. So I Look, Rock Marcy. You hear how he rhymes here? Yeah. To keep it real, and I told Rock this. He's like the, the father to all these underground rappers, his style. Yeah. Like, they all try to sound like him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But look how he was rhyming back then when he was down with Flip Mode. Yeah. He got Rock Marcy when he was rhyming like oh, that. Early. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Early. That's a classic right there, too, that Flip Mode. It's like, yo, the whole album is... Who produced that? Scratch? This kid named Shock. 
Shock. Oh, DJ Shock. DJ Shock. Did he that. did shit for, for DMX, the later album. Yes. Uh, yeah, he did a lot of shit for the Rough Riders shit. Uh, yeah. And then you got fucking. Okay. It's Puda, man. Pain in the it's ass. That's Rockefeller. He loves Rock. Look. He thinks he's Rockefeller. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Puda, oh, man. Mugs. Cypress Hill. This Mugs? Mugs. Yeah. Got a sight like this shit is universal. The sound. Then you go to the abduction. Sound. Oh, that's classic. Okay. You pick you pick the Wu Tang members to get on this? I reached out to um yeah. I, I reached out to the guys there for that first one. And then I did and the peacemaker too. You I got did, who wasn't on there. I got Ray the Kwan, rest. Yeah. You God. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second one, yep. And and met the man. No repeats, yeah. Yo, I, I see that and and as a listener, I pay attention to that. Wow. So I was always like, yo, that's crazy that on the Peacemaker 2, he got the ones yeah, that the wasn't, one on, that the wasn't on the first one. Yeah. So then you go, then you got... Now, who, who did this beat? That's DJ Scratch. What? Actually, he did me that beat. That's a classic boom. Shouts to Exhibit. Listen, Exhibit was here the other night. He hit me and was like, yo, I'm going to come fuck with you. I wanted to get him on the pod, but he was flying out beforehand. But Exhibit is one of the reasons why we started this podcast, because he came and chilled with me on the block. That's right, that's right. So and uh, it made me think like, yo, I got people coming to chill on the block. Might as well make this shit a podcast. So shout to Exhibit. Sound like Exhibit. He's drinking a beer, right? Yeah, like a beer yeah, he, on the block. No, he came. He was drinking a 40. A 40. He took an old school on the yeah. block. Facts. OE joint? O-E. Yeah. yeah. And look, shit like oh. this. The next joint, Royster 5'9". <laughs> Body this. I always thought Royce is one of the illest and he's like toe to toe with M. Yeah. Who made this? That's a, that's a sonic beat. It's just a loop? I, I took the beat because I was this album came out on Tommy Boy Records. Yeah. So I, I took a couple of their... Uh, oh, that was on Tommy Boy? That was on Tommy Boy. That was Stessa Sonic. Oh, so you knew you could clear the sample. That was a Stessa Sonic record called Talking <laughs> All That Jazz, the original. That's fire. That's fire. And I, I would just, Eat. that's me like cutting they up. They was going to back me like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to snatch this. Let me take care of that. Then you got the Diaz yeah. brothers. I produced that one. You did this beat? Yeah. Was this a single? That was a single. We shot a video for it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. That's my shit. Oh, let's get to Tony's verse. Hey, ah. my God. <laughs> I got crazy. We out, we out, we out, we out. Then boot camp. Yeah. Boom. I produced this. Sean Price. Yo, and you running down the list. This is. I'm not even. It's not even. There's Price no skip song. Crazy. Thanks. And look, he had Helter Skelter and Starang Wonder. Those are the fucking spitters of boot camp. Yeah. That's who you want to hear on a boot camp record. And you was on the boot camp album. Yeah, that's right. We that's crazy. Down by law record, yo. Facts. This was the single right here. That was the single. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I produced that too. You did? Yeah. I can say yeah. Oh. Shout out, shout out now yeah, Rogers total. for clearing that. Oh. They cleared that. You heard them clear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's now, cooking. Now Rogers. Facts. Legendary. Who would you take as not musically? SWV or Total? I, SWV. I, I always liked them for some yeah. reason. I mean, yeah, for me, I think Total have more records or no more hits. I think. No, I'm not talking about music. <laughs> you're talking about bellaquerias. <laughs> oh, you're talking about that. I mean, f- shit for me, I don't even remember what that fucking SWV, SWV or Total. I know Total had the one chick that was like. Yeah, she was chopped. One of them, right? She was like, gotta go with SWV. She wasn't like as attractive as the other two. I don't say she was chopped. <laughs> <laughs> but SWV, I just saw them at um. The oh yeah, the, at the amphitheater. I was like, damn, they still could get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Facts. All three of them thought more our facts. I was like, damn. Okay. Then this is a timeless prodigy joint right here. Great, right. Definitely right. Alchemist. Alchemist beat up. Just the way this beat bumps right here is insane. <laughs> This is one of I, I still listen to this on a regular basis. One of the hardest beats. Alchemist. Hey yo, Stun Stun. Yeah. Let me start from the beginning at the top of the list. Then you got Gaso with De La, legendary. May uh, rest in peace, True Boy. And Most Death. 
Yeah. Rest in peace, true boy. Yeah. Look, most deaf rhyming in Spanish. <laughs> and he bodied that shit. He bodied that. <laughs> Insane. Oh shit, I, how can I skip over this? This is one of my favorite joints right here. With Party Ollie, the club. Thank Tony you. touch you niggas. Showbiz. Right. Yo, this is this is the reason y'all battle Party Ollie. I didn't know what he looked like. This came out before I battled him. I was a huge Party Artie fan from the music. Yeah. Every line that he spit hit. Like he didn't take no bars off. When I was in the fight club, I was 10 and 0. 10 and 0. I was the champ. Nobody beat me. I'm just there. At, they don't tell you who you battle. They just call you to the pool table. Mm. They go, all right, next battle, Nems versus Party Artie. I never seen him before. This is before YouTube or any of that. I never seen yeah, what he looked like. On social shit. media. Yo, I was like, that's the first time ever in a battle where I was like, oh shit. shit. <laughs> what the you, fuck? I didn't even know he was a battle rapper. I thought he was a regular rapper. Yeah. I was like, fuck. And fucking he won. Wow. Yeah. Oh, with AG right man. next to him. Shit. Wasn't prepared, probably. I got like three losses in Fight Club. I got like 25 wins in Fight Club. Nobody was fucking with me. Who, who was on the part that just said they were there for that battle? Was it Thurston? Corey Guns. Corey Guns. Corey Guns. Right, yeah, yeah, and wow. then the next week he battled Murder Mook on, on Smack DVD and he said the same line, the same rhyme that he said to Murder Mook to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then Murder Mook also said when he battled him, take advice from my niggas in Coney Island. Fuck your life. Because he knew he just battled. So that's the size that people don't know about, you know what I'm wow. saying? In yeah. the battle world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's dope. But that, yo. Party Artie bodied it. Lord Finesse bodied that verse. Yeah. Even Kid Capri Crazy, yeah. killed that verse. <laughs> Who made that beat? I always that's showbiz. Yo, yeah, showbiz. That, that's one of my favorite joints. Hard. And besides AG and OC, that's like, and you got DITC, like, yeah, yeah. real, like, they wasn't dropped. Besides they little, they, they project that dropped, there wasn't a lot of DITC songs with all of them. With all of them, yeah. So that was like, as a fan, was like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is why this is one of the, this is why this is the greatest compilation album of hip hop history. Wow. Because it's still not over. Then you got an wow. Alchemist joint with Cormega. Oh, yeah. God, this joint hard. And right Cormega here. bodied it. Bodied that. Right. Alchemist, this, this beat is Crazy. vintage Alchemist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nah, Cormega. And he shouts out all the QB dudes at the end. He even shout out Nature. When he had beef, he had beef with yeah, him. Yeah. There's like QB is united, you know what I'm Back. saying? Yeah. Body this. Y'all always thought Cormega, he had one of the illest flows only because, it was like offbeat, but it was like, you could tell that he punched in like every line. Yeah. I'm not so sure. every, I don't know if I remember how that went. Yeah, every line is <laughs> like, it's a blur. nah, cause you know, sometimes I go into the studio if I write it and I'm confident enough that I know the rhymes, yeah. I'll say one line, leave a line Skip open. A line. One line, leave yeah. a line open. So every bar is like full blast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me say, I might go, fix your motherfucking face. This that big gorilla shit. We, you know what I'm saying? And then when the set, then I, I right, that's part of the verse is done. Then come in, fix. Stupid. Yeah. But it ain't bait, stupid. You know what I'm saying? And just. Chop in, and I feel like Cormega bullshit. does that on every rhyme. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He killed it. Then you got, listen, it just don't stop. You got Big Pun. Pun. My favorite rapper all time. Right, and that, that's at the time listen. when he was like, right. oh, Pun on a feature? Because he didn't have a lot. Who's this one? It's Aguilar. Aguilar. Adolf. Facts. Yeah. Daisy Dukes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> take you back, Rocky right? Rocky Wrights. Hard. Yeah, your mom's a cocky then, dyke. Look. <laughs> yeah. Cocky dyke. Bro, it don't stop. Look, the next joint. Yeah. D12, Eminem. Who did this? Alchemist? Alchemist, yeah. Bro. Rest in peace, uh, Proof. Oh, Rest bro. in peace, Proof. Salute. Right. Come shout on, out bro. Eminem, man. Right. Shout out to Eminem, bro. Right. Slim motherfucker. Yo, shady. it's like, bro, this shit don't stop. The next, Adolf got the interlude. He even bodied this. He made this beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm charged. Yeah, I'm charged. <laughs> charged. <laughs> He's from Bushwick? He's from Brooklyn, but not Bushwick. 
my God, somewhere on the other side. Brown. Who was that Rhyme? Get a girl. Who was that Rhyme? That was Agalo. Agalo, yeah. Then look, he even paid homage to. He got Big Daddy Kane and Cool G Rap on the joint. Chris. And KRS. Yeah, all three. Bro. What year that? What, what year that came out? This came out in 2000. That's fire. And they all body it. Yeah. Holding their own with everybody else on the side. Who made this beat? Another Aguilar beat. What? Yeah. Aguilar was like with me every session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was making crazy. that album. He was there when they did the prank, Big Pun's house. What? Fucking hauling ass soup. <laughs> Fuck your life. Then you got the PR All Stars. Right. Boom. Daddy Yankee, bro. You got Daddy Yankee on the yeah, shit. Yeah, early. 2000? Early Daddy Yankee, yeah. Yeah. Rompe, 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 rompe. Damn. You got OTR with the <laughs> gold plates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo. Yo, listen. You got to understand. This right here, this is the hub. And this is where FYL started right here. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So this is the whole hub right. of where Fuck Your Life started. Right. Right. O'Dwyer's, yes, the Mermaid Builders right behind it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is right. this is like where FYL was birthed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this whole shit is where we really was like, yo, this is what we doing. It's Fuck Your Life. Fuck everybody else. And, and that's where this whole shit was fucking. You know what I'm saying? Right here under this bridge? Not under this bridge. This bridge, I battled Mike Assassin. If y'all a fan of me. And y'all know my battles. We battled a kid from London called Mike Assassin. They came out here. We had like 50 people here. There was the kid was by himself. We just like deboed him. Like it was, he was like, did this style out there in London? I guess at that time was like really freestyling. Like so he was the top, yeah. like when you got 50 guys here, pause, breathing down your neck, ready to beat you up. I should cut you, bust you, you a sucker, buster. Started crying when he met Usher. Man. It's hard to come up with shit off top because you're nervous that you're going to get beat up. Yeah. So his freestyles was trash. He, one way he in said I look like a albino Joe Button. He said some corny shit. Like he was saying some <laughs> stupid shit that didn't even make sense. Yeah. Fuck. And I was hitting him with, yo, I'll take your newborn daughter and punter. Your yeah. mother's a gunter, all types of shit. <laughs> just finished this whole shit. But then afterwards, I just, I was like, yo, everybody chill. Like, I, you know, made sure he was, he was good. But like, yeah, there's a lot of legendary shit happening here, man. We did a lot of legendary videos. But yeah, like, then you got the outro right there. But yo, that. What's the illest battle you seen, you witnessed that was not on camera, like off camera? Eh, I don't know. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my life. Scumbag. Scumbag. Scumbag of the week. Yeah. Hey, there's this video on YouTube that um, I actually recorded and posted that went like super viral. And it's Busta Rhymes and ODB. Back oh, in, I seen that. Yeah, like 94. Jack the Ripper or something. Jack the Rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was in New Orleans. And uh, they were like going back and forth, and I and I actually documented it. Busta, I never heard that rhyme, but ODB, he I heard the rhyme. He used that like one of the rhymes he said like on a song. Yeah, yeah. But it's Santana nonetheless Lama. legendary. Yeah, yeah. I was I was I was one for the books. Bro. Facts. <laughs> Yo, sleeper picks, monster energy, bang, fuck your life. <laughs> Yo, this this week, what movie I seen? What well, you got a sleeper movie that people don't really know about? Shit, um, let me think about that for a minute. All right, we'll, we'll come back. My shit is Sicario. That was a good movie. Oh, that's a fire Sicario. movie. Oh. Facts. That was fire. You really gotta, that's one of those movies, though, you really got to pay attention. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. if you're not paying attention, like, you're going to yeah. miss something and it fucks the whole shit up. But Facts. I was watching that the other day, and I was like, yo, this is a fire movie. Remember and the they rapper got the, Sicario yeah. that sound like Jay? Yeah, what happened to him? I don't know. I don't remember. That was I heard you. That was me. That was me. Yo, <laughs> yo, my sleeper movie is um Colombiana. That was a good fucking movie. What? Colombiana with um, oh, yeah, Zoe yeah, yeah. Saldana. Fact. I watched it with my son. He was like, Dad, you ever saw this? I said, nah, I'll watch it with you. It was like, good. Yeah, yeah. It was good. I got my sleeper I got movie it. is I Wanted. Nems was just talking about him trying to bend bullets at the range. Remember that, Busy? When I was bending bullets in Texas. <laughs> That's like what Morgan that. Freeman, Angelina Jolie. I kissed the gun and bent the bullet. Like nah, that's kissing the gun? I said like this, I said, yo. <laughs> Boom. That's, that's crazy. Shit. Boom. That shit ain't worth That shit was hitting the wall. I got one. Boiler Room. 
I just Ooh. saw that the other day. You seen that? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You ain't see that? Slept on you that. see Boiler Room? That's old, right? It's older. Yeah. It's a dope movie. It's like Ben uh, Affleck. It's like some Wall Street shit. Like some yeah, stock. it's like the Wolf of Wall Street, but before that. Wolf, yeah, like pre-Wolf of Wall Street, exactly. Like I love Wolf of Wall Street. That fucking movie's crazy. Yeah, nah, that's a that's a that's, that's a good. That's top five. That's not a sleeper, like everybody knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Boiler Room? No, Wolf, uh, Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street. Street. Oh yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Oh, matter of fact, this is perfect that we got Tony here. What's the Spanish word of the week, Bob? Mm. Busy made the Spanish word. Well, you're not supposed to tell that. He texts. That's that's that's. Yeah, that's, that's behind notes. the scenes, bro. All right, yeah. out, nah, we're gonna out. let Tony Tony pick one. All Spanish right. word of the of you the gotta week. say the word and then you gotta use it in a sentence. Say the word and use it in a sentence. Yeah. Uh, cabrón. <laughs> uh, we used that last week. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we used pendejo. Pendejo. Oh, pendejo. Yeah. Sopa, sopita. <laughs> cabrón yeah. is like term of endearment. It can mean anything. <laughs> Mira cabrón. Using the sentence. Mira cabrón, cuando vamos a grabar este tema. <laughs> yeah, Paz using the sentence. Uh, oh, you didn't tell people what it means though. Cabrón is like, uh, you know, fucking like a dirtbag, but it could also mean like fucking, you know, my brother. Like, yeah, yeah, it's facts. The same shit. Nah, it means you che- you're getting cheated on and you know Oh yeah, the technical that's you right. stay with her anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's it's like right, 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 yeah, right. And the right, girl is a right. cabrona. If he cheats on her and she cabrona. stays with her. Yeah, fuck. Oh, cabron, right, right. A guy that stays with his chill is cabron. Yeah, facts. If something is that's it got like, like twelve podcast. At the podcast, ta cabron. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like that. Like that. shit. That's yes, right Man. there, papa. Yeah. Yeah. This weather, this weather's cabron Ta-ca-bron right now. Cabron is weather, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Go ahead, cabron. <laughs> <laughs> I used all my shits. Now nah, I'm done. <laughs> Fuck, we can make up one. Now nah, I'm done. <laughs> We're getting into the scumbag. 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 I feel like new addition when we say that shit. Back. Our scumbag of the week is Paul Wolf. Because the real Paul Wall? The real one. He said he had COVID. He's supposed to be on our podcast. And I looked at his page. He's at the Astros he game. The fucking Astros oh, game. Shit. Throwing, throwing the fucking pitch. I said, get the fuck. He had his front on? Hey, Paul Wall. <laughs> fuck out of here. And what's the guy that nah, was That's with? my guy, Paul Wall, man. He's playing <laughs> around, bro. Yeah, his guy. But that was a scumbag move, man. Yeah. 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 And what's the guy's no, name? No, and I told, I told him, no, hold up. I want to just say terminology. Like terminology. That's no, I want to say, for the record, terminology hit me. And was like, yo, me and Paul want to come up. I was like, we we gonna do math half and shit. Then we gonna come to yours. I said, nah, you can't come on our shit. Pause. Hey, yo. I said, yo, you can't come on the podcast, bro, because I don't want you We're being the cabrón. guest of everybody We're else. I don't want the same fucking guest. We're not cabrón. Nah, so he was like, come on, man, please. <laughs> da, da, da. I was like, all right. Then the day before, yo, canceling. Like Paul got COVID. He's at the fucking Astros game, throwing out the first pitch, bro. <laughs> I said fucking yo. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's fucked up. Fuck out of here. Damn. And for the guy that lied for him, you too. <laughs> <laughs> double scumbag. Yo, Who's scumbag of the week, six? My scumbag of the week on my way over here. This is like a new scumbag of the week. I got like 11 of them, but Damn. there was a person who got into an accident coming over the bridge. Um, and they were just both standing there in the rain, like just causing fucking traffic. Standing there in the rain, like, bro, if you got into an accident, just get the fuck out of the oh, way. Yeah, yeah. Keep it pushing. Scumbag. That shit piss me off. Scumbag of the week goes to them. Damn. Facts. My scumbag of the week is that fucking miniature cop yesterday. <laughs> that fucking Pocket game. police. Yo, we was in front of, we went, I took the whole podcast out to the dinner at Brooklyn Chop House, because we did, we just finished season two. Shout out Brooklyn Chop Shout House. Shout out to Brooklyn Chop House. Shout out right to uh, Trace Jen, um, Tequila. Shout out to Drewski. Um, FIFA didn't show up. FIFA, oh, oh, man. Man. FIFA's a scumbag for scumbag of the year. Up. Scumbag of the year. Yeah, yeah, we're not talking to FIFA. That's oh, how we back. shout him out on hey, this. Kyle, don't get it. Yeah, now nah, don't take it. Yo, yo, turn the camera. Don't do- hey, yo, Kyle, no footage don't. of FIFA. He's a fucking house DJ in fucking Ecuador. Oh, oh Ecuador. Yeah. Oh, Venezuela, Venezuela. Venezuela with a B. He said Ecuador. Venezuela. So, yeah, so I parked, they had like cones out. <laughs> in front of Brooklyn Chop House in Times Square. I pull up my shit. Boom. Bro, this cop popped out of like nowhere. He was in like standing in the restaurant waiting for me to come there. Pause. And he was like, yo, you can't park there. I was like, why not? The guy's moving cones. They were here for me. Even the guy of the restaurant was like, yo, that's Nems. He was holding this for him. 
He says, I'm going to give you a ticket. I said, bro, like, get the fuck out of here. All right, give me the ticket then, whatever. I left it there. He had to go to his car to get his ticket book. Right. He didn't even have nice. it on him. And then Came back. Bro, he couldn't even see over my hood. Yeah, I was like, was bro, fighting. are you even going to put the ticket on the fucking, he, on the window? You can't even it. reach up there. <laughs> yeah, he threw he it threw up it. like this. But, like, yo, just to be that miserable, when you're a beat walker like that, you brand new on the job. They're not getting paid. Like, yo, most cops, most cops know me anyway. They'll be like, nah, don't worry about it. This guy went out his way to go get his fucking ticket book and write me a ticket. I ripped that shit up. Threw that shit right in the nah, street. Nah, he said, go enjoy your meal. Yeah, yeah, he said, yo, go oh, enjoy man. your meal. Wow. Go enjoy People your like meal. that in real life. Chiquitito, though, he was like that. Yeah, yeah, facts. facts. He was like, he, he, yo, they, they don't 11. have no say so in real life, you know? That's his claim to fame, that little. Their wife hour probably he got. sucking mad dick while he's at work. Hey, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, little piece of shit. This is the only day, time he gets to get his wreck off. Facts. So, you know, I got love for. PD and you know there's a lot of good guys, but there's yeah. little bitch ass motherfuckers like that. Like bro, that ticket does nothing to me, bro. That's like I me, felt like that was me like paying a busy, for parking like anyway. Busy you know cop. what I'm saying? Huh. Like so you a scum? Oh, and <laughs> scumbag of the week. Besides like FIFA not showing up, is New York City bike lanes, bro. We don't give a fuck about the same fucking Copenhagen, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You're <laughs> taking up two lanes of fucking strong. street. And causing mad traffic so these motherfuckers <laughs> can have a bike lane. Get the fuck out of here. They if even you're a did biker, it on the bridge. If you're a biker, man, go fuck yourself, man. Go ride on the fucking sidewalk <laughs> like a normal human being. The fucking Brooklyn Bridge. They fucking close Yo, the lane. Yo, bro. that's insane. That's, I can't believe it. You got a scumbag of the week? I don't have one. I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> think of one. Man, you know, thinking for a minute. Yeah, I was thinking, hey. who would I fucking... I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, when I hint there, right? That when I hint there, Bobby. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 I'll be bobbing and weaving out here, bro. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. You like that? <laughs> that's like, that's like, hey, yo, thing? Yeah, bobbing and weaving's like, bro, I can't say that. No. Oh. Wow, what's up, man, Bobby? That's what you said, bobbing and weaving. <laughs> you boxing, though, right? What's... Nah, like an apple, you bobbing. That's fucked up. Like an apple out the water. Jesus. What the nuts. fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yo, so we getting now. To the song of the week. Matter of fact, this is what we do. Like, I show love to uh, a Coney Allen rapper every week. You know what I'm saying? Just to show love to the community. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody's getting they fucking, they getting they scene. And then the other guys pick a non-rap song because fuck rappers. You know what I'm saying? This week, I want to shout out to um, Killer H2O to Dawn. You know what I'm saying? I, this is like one of the first rappers that I know. I influenced heavily because he used to buy my, my first mixtape on. Mm -hmm. And even before that, when I used to have a rap partner and we used to drop, like, I burned the CDs and sell them hand to hand. He was buying them shits. I know I heavily influenced his whole style, but he's one of the hardest working rappers from Coney Island. If not the hardest working besides me, you know what I'm saying? He got his own studio. He got mad rappers coming to his shit. He produces. He makes videos. So I want to shout him out, look him up. His shit on Instagram is Killer H 20 The Dawn. And this song is called Quotes. And uh, we ain't playing the whole shit, but go look it up. You heard? Quotes. Shout out Killer Fat. Yeah. Bang. Bang. Yes. Killer A. Suo the Dong. Go look him up, man. Coney Island. Yeah, man. Tony, what's your song, man? Uh, non rap. Non rap record? Yeah. I think, uh, let me think. Phase O. Riding High. Okay. Let's get into that. Oh, this is a classic. That smoke out. Oh. This is when Tony used to ride around Bushwick. Yeah. yeah. Right. Smoking yeah. dust. My <laughs> Awori. My Awori. <laughs> this classic. Damn, who you 
use that sample. I'm adding that right now to one of my playlists. Um, Bang. That was in the movie Friday. Friday, right? Yeah. 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 I, don't yep. who, I don't know who rapped on it, though. Matter of fact, I'm out, I'm adding that right now to the Outside with Gorilla Nems playlist. If you're on Apple Music, go follow that playlist. Everything we play here on the motherfucking uh, show is on that playlist. Fire. Pass. Fire. Oh, matter of fact, this is what Paz sent to me. You said that last week, bro. <laughs> every week. You do every picking, week. You picking the same song every week. Every week is the record. Sacabrón. Sacabrón. Sacabrón este. Pick a better Spanish song. Pick Mark Anthony or somebody. No, don't blame hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. me, bro. What's your vibes like when you go to Puerto Rico? What's the risk? Oh, man. Um, you know, I'm playing a lot of house music these days, too. Like that, like Afro, Latin influence house. Oh, that's yeah. fire. Yeah, I like yeah. That. I like that. Change the whole thing. Exactly. I've been, I've been tapping crazy. in with that. I go out there. I bring a lot of that when I go over there. Oh, matter of fact, I got a good question before we get to six or so. Yeah. You've been to the Puerto Rican parade a lot, right? Have you? Yeah, yeah. What do you think the best year was? Best year? Well, that you had the best, yeah. the most fun. We had, we had introduced like the world to like reggaeton and the artists from over there. So we had guys like Daddy Yankee and Evie Queen, Nicky Jam. I had these guys on my float back in like 90s, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, so like That's uh, in 96, we did, I did a, we did a float with Stress Magazine. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out Tony Martinez. And uh, he was asking me like, How sh what should we put on the float? I said, yo, we gotta get these kids from PR and get them on here. And, and that was like the first year at the reggaeton and shout out to Manolo, rest in peace, Guataúba, with that whole crew came up and we bodied that, 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 that float that year. A lot of people were like, what is this? You know what I mean? But we were ahead of the curve. Absolutely. That's, that's on my fire. bucket. That's on low key on my bucket list. I want to be in the Puerto Rican. Nah, we doing that. Look, like on the right. float? Look, on look, the float, nigga. Look, that the two years ago, we were supposed to be on it when the big mall shit happened, but it was the same day as Summer Jam. And I was performing at Summer Jam. Facts. So it was like, yo, the Puerto Rican Day Parade is every year. Yeah. The opportunity to perform at Summer Jam is, might not be there every year. So right. I was like, let me go with Summer Jam this That's year. Right. This year came, oh, nobody had a fucking float. Tony yeah, was in Paris, I right? was out of town, yeah. I yeah. didn't even do it this year. Fucking That's everybody. Right. Fat Joe wasn't doing Nobody really did it. Yeah. I'm going to make sure, even, even if I got, and I even spoke to enough. I was like, yo, what's up behind 97? He was like, yo, they're not doing it. Huh? And he was I like, yo, um, he was like, we could get our own float, though. And um, so yeah. if, if next year's coming up and like, we we gotta, outside. no matter what, next year's coming up. Yeah, man. facts. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to talk to Paul about that. Man. Yeah, there you go. Let's get a Goliath crazy. float. What? You know what I'm saying? Shade 45 float. Something. Yeah, that would be fire. And we're going to have to start doing that like now. Monster. A monster float. Yeah, facts. Yeah, there we up. go. Ron Mills, set that yeah. up, man. Tap yeah. in. Ron Mills don't got nothing to do now with Now we us. fucking potting. Yeah, nah, because... We got connections. Yo, we got to start getting fire shit that we use for sponsorships. Yeah. Facts. Like, like Viagra. I don't use Viagra. I don't use yeah, that. but I have used it in the past. <laughs> or oh, the honey, the honey. The honey, honey pack. The honey yeah. packs. Manscaped, <laughs> shave my nuts. Manscaped. Shout, Shout out Manscaped. Yo, Manscaped, what up, man? Facts, I fuck with them. Yo, send us some razors here, man. We need to shave our nuts. Facts. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. I shave my chest. <laughs> Not with I Manscaped, use... though. I, I used um, another one. But if you would have had a Manscaped. I got a Manscaped, but I'm not going to put it for my wearables on my chest. Bro, oh, do you not know how to pod, bro? You're supposed to be like, yeah, I would have did that if I had a yeah, Manscaped, bro. All right, dude. Bro, you got to We not be it, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You always fucking up, man. <laughs> Every episode <laughs> you fucking up, bro. Yeah, man. You don't know all right, what the right. fuck to do. I'm telling the truth. I don't be fucking. What do you use? What's something you would want sponsorship? Oh shit. Turntables. That's mixers. Good. Mixers. Mixers. Who makes that? Pioneer. Pioneer. Send us some yeah, fucking mixers fuck, for my man. boy, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. So Pioneer. This is the on, fucking man. illest DJ in the world, bro. He really outside, man. I ain't got a big man. heavy radio. You should get like a cajito because you kind of old. Oh yeah. To be carrying that shit. Yeah, right there. That's all fucked right. up, man. Yeah. Yo, Cadillac, man. What's up, man? Cadillac. That's <laughs> my boy a little bit. Yo, GMC, Denali. I try, I cruise around all day in the Denali. Send us some Denalis for the pod. Right, so that's well, who hard. else? What Yo. else? What else you use? That would be fire. We uh, already got Monster. I, I was already drinking Monster before they 
You know what I'm saying? So shout yeah. out to Monster. Right. New Era. You know what I'm saying? Been fucking with New Era. Shout out. Everybody fucks with New Era. That's, you know, look, we had this on the whole pod because of Bearded Goose, but New Era, man. Let's go. Def Jam, man. You want your vinyls on our fucking podcast <laughs> desk every week, bro? You know what I'm saying? Def Jam. Oh, so what cameras you use, Ray? <laughs> Sony. Sony. Send us some fucking Come cameras, on. bro. Do the fucking right cameras. thing. Do the fucking right Sony thing. Only back here. Real yeah. shit. There's only yeah. Sony cameras back here. Facts. Wake up. And FIFA youngest shit. What's these chairs? What's these chairs called, man? The fucking thing. Yeah. Dems, what's these chairs called? Oh, yeah, that's oh, CGI. Yo, CGI outdoors. Yo, CGI. Oh, no, that's, us, man. That, that, no, we've been outside for three all three seasons. Outside, man, this show is called Outside with Gorilla Nims. Since episode one, all of our chairs are CGI like like outdoors. Yeah, they're comfortable, chairs. right? Yeah, they rock. All of them rock. They, yeah. yo. It's really the secret to our pod being so great is really the chairs. That's how you think. That's how yeah, we think. No, it's rocking chairs. You're comfortable. We yeah, it's facts. We need some like heat though. It's starting to get cold. Some type of heat, something. Heaters. 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 We need a heat lamps for the pod. We need all of that, man. <laughs> yo, Tanner, don't look at me with white shit on the side of your lip, bro. Hey, hey yo. yo. He's fucking nodding hey, his head. Yo. He got fucking white shit from his sandwich. That cow, bro. That cow. You got that from the homeless shelter, bro? You got that from wrapped Central Booking? <laughs> bro, that shit is wrapped in plastic like the booking sandwiches. <laughs> if you got a little, if you got a little milk in your pocket, you fucked up. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, <laughs> My God. Solita, Colita, Man, Colita. And shouts to the Coney Island Thunder, man, ABA team. Facts. Shout out Stacy for setting that up too. Coney Island Thunder. That's a big thing, man. Clap it up for that. I'm proud of that, man, because he got kids playing yeah, ball off the streets, bro. Where they gonna try out? Where they gonna? Where they gonna play? They're playing in Kingsborough, bro. That's their home court. Matter of fact, they got a game coming up. I believe it's nah, uh, nah. October 28th. I right. performed there already. It was a great show. I performed at their opening game. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So the, make sure you tap in with the Coney Island Thunder ABA team. I'm going to uh, every game if I oh, could. Are you going to have season tickets? If I, if I, yeah, if I could get my hands on Yo, them. Yo, what's the, what's the team's names in Puerto Rico? They got ill basketball teams out there. They're the oh, basketball remember, leagues remember in Puerto Rico out there. Yeah, and well brought his whole team. To the crew to, uh, league? To the crew league. They was nice, right? Bro, yeah. Was nice. 100%. They ball out there, but they ball at night is weird because in the daytime, it's too, too hot. hot. You can't play. Right? Facts, no, but they they're play. in arenas, bro. They're not outside. I'm talking about baseball, too. They play outside. Yeah. Their fields is crazy, too. They Yo, got You lights. ever flew into Aguadilla? I did. Bro, that shit looks... Yeah. That's a whole different experience than flying into San Juan. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bro, that shit is like... It has one room. You've, I never got off of the, the, the plane onto the tarmac before. Yeah. It was like that in Cuba. I flew to Cuba. You land, like, on the street. Right. Just go into a car. <laughs> yeah. Dead ass. No customs, not, bro. It's just one room. Bro, they you walk through it, and you're outside. You're like, oh, shit. In Cuba, there was a paper that said no knives, no lighters, no guns. Like, just put on a desk. Yeah. You just walk into the plane. Cool. Shit was nuts. That's fire. That's hard. Yeah. That's, That's why bad. you could bring back the Cuban women. Shit. It's the guards, not women. I'm married. <laughs> Hmm. Nobody's even talking to you like that, bro. I'm just answering for myself. I'm married. I'm answering for myself, but don't do that, my man. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. what you got coming up, man? Uh, pushing that album, pushing Death the movie. Tape. That I'm not on, but it's still yeah. fire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, put me in the next movie. It was in the works, it was in the works. Put yeah. me in the next movie, bro. Jeez, man. Um, getting more work, like scoring scoring work like from film from movies shit, yeah. yo you got trouble oh, on yeah. this tapping into that trouble yeah rest bro. in peace rest in peace trouble yo. I'm not, i don't want i'm not doing songs with you no more bro you got mad dead rappers on your shit yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> fucked <up. laughs> that's fucked up man yo nah he got yo the way that you just put um, um, like songs together with the yeah. beats and and people together is just like that's an art all in itself, bro. Yeah, Definitely. Uh, yeah. You could have not you could have just set that up and not even been a part of that shit. But you you involved in the track listing process, the production yeah. process, yeah. all of that. Everything. Top to bottom, man. Yeah, that's and, fire. Man. I got a show coming up. I'm 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 producing for at Radio City Music Hall. Really? Yeah, February 9th, man. It's getting into the concert what is it? a little bit. Like compilation album, but a concert. Really? Yeah. At Radio City. Radio City. At Radio. Right. Clap it up for that. Yeah. That's a fucking. No, we, oh, we in the I'm building. There. Yeah, we in the building. I'm there. I'm there. February 9th. Is February 9th. Oh, so the date is already locked yeah, down. Yeah, we're, we're piecing it all, all together now. Oh, so. tickets, y'all. Tap into that. February What's up 9th. with uh, Toka Tuesdays? 
the radio show's been running 19 years. What about the events? The party, I, I changed it now to Tocas Playhouse. Okay. So that way I could do other days of the week. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. After pandemic hit, man, so, the dynamics changed so much. Yeah. That shit was before, the I mean. clubs and everything. It still was lit at the, at so, the Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea Music Hall, yeah. Yeah, but even before that, where was the, where you used to have it before? We had it at CLO. We came to CLO before. Yeah, yeah, we no, were, that shit was. The original spot was Sutra Lounge. Bro, you would have, it. bro, Usher would come through. Like, bro, it's like, wow. you never know who you're going to see there. Yeah, fact. It's yeah. always lit. That was right? a we, it was a weekly party, and then after pandemic, we did it monthly for a little while. It wasn't and the I was same, just right? like, I wanted to switch it up. So it's Thorka's Playhouse is the, is how different I, uh, days now. I rebranded it. Yeah, I could, do, I could do a Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm doing Halloween. And that lands on a Tuesday. Fire. And it's still got playhouse, but it's on a Tuesday. You but yeah, and I could do like a Thursday or a Friday. Like yeah, I'm, fact, I'm yeah. not Instead stuck limiting do, yourself to having to do yeah. you you dressing up a Tuesday. I don't know yet. Halloween. <laughs> you? By this time, <laughs> yeah. I got a Coney Island mask. The Coney Island face. <laughs> yeah. Some. I, I'll be, yeah. I'll, oh, okay. There was a yo. Shout out to uh, Coney Island then and now. That was a documentary on Coney Island that I was in. Yeah. They had the screening at Kent Theater on Coney Island Avenue, and uh, nice. one of the guys there that was in the shit, he sold like the mask of the Coney Island face, so I bought one. That's so. off the chain. Yeah, facts. That's fire. This, this episode's coming out after Halloween anyway, so. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna Spoiler be alert. Mask. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna see I'm, I'm dressing <laughs> up as a garbage man, I'm gonna wear my uniform. Oh, wow. Womp, womp. That one's true. I'm gonna buy a costume. Fuck that. All right. <laughs> Six, you gonna dress as Hove again? Yeah, maybe. Oh, Dame. You gotta maybe get. Dame. You gotta get dressed. Dame, Dame, Dame Dash. Yo, Dame just followed him, and then Pa said he didn't follow him. I looked. I, I wasn't trying to be grimy. I was just like, "What? Let me see." I'm getting following him. But he did though. Damn. Damn. I mean, I Yo, internet people, man, debunk that. Cause Six said Dame Dash followed him. Pa said it ain't in his followers. <laughs> What's the truth? <laughs> look good to it, Yo, y'all. what made you look, though? What made you say, like, I'm going to go see, I want to see um, Dame Dash following Think you. Think I'll be lying to you or something? Facts. What? About everything, nigga. What <laughs> 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 fuck you talking about? All right, so this will be, you know, yeah. got to be debunked. You, have a link, yeah. you ever met Hove? I did meet Hove a few times. That's fire. Um, just in passing, though, nothing really, like, sit down and can't give you a hug and no shit right yeah, he come up to me give me a pound like he knew who i was and stuff 40 40 club a few times and you know i've dj'd in that spot before so. yeah they just closed that down right 44 did they yeah i think sure. so you would yeah. know you rockefeller yeah they closed it down it's official <laughs> but i think they're opening up another a spot or something no nah, i think they're opening up another spot maybe in Times square yeah you was at the brunch Nah. No, they ain't let you in with your Rockefeller tramp stamp? Nah. Next what year. What brunch? The um, New Year's? Next year. Next year. <laughs> Rock Nation. Yo, Rock Nation. Yo, what if I be see the Live Nation brunch? I'm just walking through. I'll be like, nigga, <laughs> fuck. I, the fuck? He got the diamond on the back of his bald head right there. <laughs> Who are you? Look. <laughs> Yo. He got Rock La Familia on his lower back. Nah, Man. that's cat. He got that. <laughs> In the front. On his gooch. <laughs> nah, it's cool though. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Yo, shout out oh, Tony man. Touch, man. You going off the. I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell him, my bad. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. be next week, Spanish. Yeah, yeah. We're going to tell him next week's work. Yeah. That's next week's work. What made you week. fuck with Coney Allen as much as you do? Like, throw the parties here and all of that. Yeah, you've been fucking with Coney Allen. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have a lot of childhood memories here. You know, my. Grandma used to bring me out here and I was a shorty and um you know for years I would come to, to Coney Island there'd be parties on the boardwalk I just thought that shit was just so ill to me fire and uh, I started getting my per right after pandemic I was on that hustle like getting permits and doing it oh we did it a couple times with shit. no permits no permit that was during pandemic yeah yeah facts we were out there we was on the beach doing our parties without the, without <laughs> the permits yeah I would have a little generator out there and everything there's definitely like one or two times I seen the fattest ass I ever seen at one of Tony's parties. It had to be a tia or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't no young spring chicken. But it was just like, yo, that's an old lady with a fat ass. <laughs> a doña, a doña. Yeah, yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? That's another word Bendicion. right there. Doña. Doña. And this young is mad words, bro. We could do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but when Tony's out here in Coney Island, the lifers are the bodyguards, you know? Make sure everything facts. goes right. 
We don't always on the boardwalk. No toca Tony. No toca Tony. <laughs> <laughs> His parties be lit, though. Facts. All yeah. the time, bro. Mad Donyas. I ain't gonna hold you. And, yeah. yo, just know that next year, 2024, we in the parade. Heavy. Facts. Uh -huh. That's my bucket list. Yeah, we, we in the float. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, that. I like that. <laughs> it's busy. He needs the question. No. Yeah, yeah, he got to read the question. Got to read the question from the fan. Fuck his life. Oh. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yo. Patreon or in the comments. If you think we should fire busy, just write in <laughs> all caps in the comments. Fire busy. Huh. You heard? And FIFA too. Because yeah, FIFA oh, too. Yo, no, they didn't come to the, dinner. <laughs> and we were going to give him duck and all that. To the fuck your life <laughs> nation brunch. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're going to give my nigga duck yo, the goose. He ain't this showing up ain't at the hey, Look, we got yesterday. the goose. He we the goose wearing ducks. It doesn't make sense. He got ducks on, and his name is Bearded Goose. He should have wore geese. Man. He should have wore too much geese. avian. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, fuck your life. Salute. Make sure you follow everything. And uh, stop Salute being to pussy the legend. all your life. Salute. Tony Touch. We outside. Facts. Clap Facts. it up. Clap it up. We out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good shit. Ah. Simple, Tony. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy.